Yo, what's up, guys? So today we're watching Stranger Things, The Massacre at Hawkins Lab, baby. So the last episode was absolutely insane. Steve and the boys went to the Upside Down, and the girls, and <laughs> it was just wild, man. So I'm so excited to get into this. It's the best show of all time. Dab, if you're happy. All right, we're let's only go. watching one episode today, guys, because we saw how long it was. Yeah, they're long. So there's three episodes left, and we have to give these things everything. So I want to give this one everything I have. I want to give the next one everything I have. And I want to give the next one everything I have, baby, because <laughs> this show gave me everything I had. So yep. y'all can go ahead and give us everything y'all have by hitting the like button, subscribing, and hitting us up on Patreon if you like the full extended full length, full action over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sorry. Sound a little weird. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, they're biting them. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No way, right? Oh, let's yes. go. Let's go, Nance. Robin looks like a damn superhero with her sleeve on fire. Dude, Robin's mom's legit. That's all I need y'all to know. Yeah, get his ass, Steve. Yes. Why is he bleeding from his mouth? Steve. Jesus Christ. Steve, oh my God. Jesus H. Christ. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, they took about a pound of flesh. That's going to get infected, Steve. Uh, no. Do you guys know if these bats have like rabies? What? Once the symptoms set in, it's too late. You're already like dead. Another slew of them. What do you call a gang of bats? A baseball team? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we could take them. Right? What are y'all gonna do? Woods. Come on. Great. More running. Damn, that's with Thurman's daughter. I know, I just, now that we've seen Kill Bill, I like, will never forget that. I never realized that lady was such an icon. Yeah, she really is. I'm psyched. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be reading this, because I, I, be like... I need to remember people's names like Jay does. I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, their real names? Yeah. I'm just such a character guy. Maya I, Hawk. I don't really care too much about like who they are in real life, you know, because. Well, I'm going to care so I can like know when they've been in other things. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, and I should know their names for that reason. 100%. I just have this personal thing where I don't look as much as I should because it's like the less I know, like the more I get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. That's the real one right there. He's not speaking. How'd you sleep, Mr. Wallace? <laughs> Where is the girl? Perhaps you need more time to think. Wait, please, wait! You're gonna put him in there anyway, he's probably. There's no killer. <laughs> Promise me you won't kill him. Oh. I mean, how much more can a human take, though? Do we trust Sullivan? We're running out of time here, Martin. I understand the stakes quite well. You know, sometimes I wonder if you really do. Or maybe you've just done all of this because you missed your daddy-daughter time. <laughs> I've given you everything you asked for. I've compromised my principles. I've risked my life, my family's life. All because you assured me this would work. But I don't see any progress out there, Martin. I see a frightened, traumatized little girl. That's what I see. That's right, Owen. But I mean, to be honest, like, I don't even know if he's the ultimate bad guy, you know? I don't really know. I need, I would need more backstory to the backstory. You're regressing, <laughs> Eleven. You're going backwards. I know you're frightened, but it's this very fear that's now holding you back. If you want Nina to succeed, you cannot hide from the truth, no matter how frightening it may be. I saw what I did. That memory, she just gotta unlock it. <laughs> I am a monster. Well, she's scared of herself. She's scared to let it go, I think. You speak of monsters. That's the stuff of myth and fairy tales. 
Only by facing all of ourselves, the good and the bad, can we become whole. What if I don't want to become whole? Then that is a choice. Your choice. The door is always open. This place is not a prison. This is. Well, you got me fooled, brother. You chose to trust me once. I'm asking you to trust me again. I'm so conflicted. <laughs> I'm so Stop conflicted. Stop hiding, Eleven. Well, you care for Eleven so much that you just want him to be on to something, you know? Mm -hmm. You want him to be righteous and good. We'll see. It's like maybe he's letting her go because she don't have nothing right now. She's like kind of useless in a way. Or it's a false, you know, it's like a false. Like you can go. Yeah, you can go, sure. And then you like Until have you a, try. and you have a string and you're like. Skip. You wanted progress. I'm giving it to you. And what exactly were you all doing at the lake? We were just going for a walk. A walk? At <laughs> 9 p.m. We're gonna take a little swim. <laughs> Why is he high pitched? <laughs> Long night swim. <laughs> Dusty! Someone was just murdered there. And Nancy, was she with you at this night swim? No. Yes. Uh, oh. We're not sure. She was there. Look at Erica. Then she left. <laughs> We're not sure. They dared me to say what I said. <laughs> oh, yeah. About the killer. Have you had any contact with Eddie? That psycho freak killer? God, no. <laughs> Nope. No, we, no, ha no. we haven't heard <laughs> from him in ages. Not. We barely know the guy. Who? Oh, that's a bunch of bull. Oh. Erica. <laughs> Erica. <laughs> the whole couch is on fire. Erica. Erica. Just the facts. Are you lying to these policemen, oh, no. Dusty? No. Lying to the cops is a crime, son. I'm not lying. The fire <laughs> is consuming us. Them Erica. Them jail time. Maybe that'll loosen their lips. Okay. Do you want to send our kids to jail? Getting tough, Mr. Wheeler. Pipe down, Ted. Okay. Shut up! <laughs> One at a time. You first. Wait, I'm not even in the Hellfire Club. Do I need to cuff you? Chop, chop. Let's go. <laughs> Y'all have no idea what she's just been through. I know. <laughs> no idea. Well, Lisa and Jacques can't get Eddie there. <laughs> there you go, silver linings. That's the rock. <gasps> Steve? I'm fine. No. No, 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 you're not. You're losing blood. We can't really see the damage. I know. I think that's not intentional. That's the point, yeah. Oh, no. <sighs> Steve is okay. in need. Uh, so the good news uh, here is that I'm pretty sure that wooziness is not a common symptom of rabies, but um, if you start having hallucinations or, or muscle spasms or you start feeling really aggressive, like, like you want to punch me or something, then you should totally let me know, okay? I kind of want to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> Sense of humor is still intact. It's a good sign. <laughs> You ready? Yeah. Just do it. I feel bad for Steve that it messed his ribs up, boys, but I'm just glad that bat didn't touch that hair. No, that's good. He's still Steve the Hair Harrington. Right. Nancy's getting a little close to his underpants. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Why are you rhyming everything? Because <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. This place is like Hawkins, but with monsters. Pretty much. Wait, watch out for the vines. It's all a hive mind. They're like one or something. You step on a vine, you're stepping on a bat, you're stepping on Vecna. Yeah, I don't do but that. Everything from our world is still here, right? Except Just like people, the last of us, huh? As far as I understand it, yeah. So theoretically, we could go to the police station and steal guns and grenades and whatever we need to blow up those bat things that are guarding the gate. I mean, yeah, I highly doubt that the Hawkins PD has grenades. I have guns. In my bedroom. You. She's strapped. Nancy Wheeler. A Russian Makarov and a revolver. Hey, you almost shot me with that one. Pure modesty, dude. Why did that make me jump? <laughs> what, the earthquake? No, him throwing the jacket. Oh, I was scared he's gonna hit him in his ribs. <laughs> Uh-oh, Robin and Eddie.
No, Eddie's throbbing under Robin. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Sorry. She don't like dudes, you remember? Yeah, so guns seem like a pretty good idea to me. Yeah, me too. Here we go. Oh my goodness. All right, so the mission is to make it to Nancy's bedroom. <laughs> Nancy's upside down bedroom. All right. I love how this still looks like the upside down. But it's just snow. It's just yeah. Russia. <laughs> I think they're going to be able to open up some type of portal with this thing mm -hmm. or something. You know, Why would you leave them together, though? What we are to attempt is quite mad. You got odds for us this time? A thousand to one. <laughs> Even if we somehow kill this beast, we still must escape. They will shoot us on sight. We die as monster slayers. You forgot traitor. Monster slayer trumps traitor. I bet Mikhail will be proud of his pops at least. He will say, Papa, I bet that bald American did most of the monster slay. <laughs> <laughs> it is the same for you, American? With your new daughter? The last time I was with Elle, she wanted just about nothing to do with me. Please make it. <laughs> Please must make be it. Hardwired into us to reject our fathers, so we can grow, move on, become something of our own. Well, damn, that's depressing. Isn't it? I hope mm. that's what she's doing. To worry for our sons and daughters, that is natural, isn't it? Nothing about what Elle has had to deal with is natural. At all. That monster in there is a part of something that wants to hurt Elle. All I know is that thing. That thing shouldn't be here, it shouldn't be alive. I thought I was put here to pay for what I've done. But I might have been put here for some other reason. Maybe hey. I maybe I could still help Elle. Even if it's the last thing I do. You almost sound religious, American. Religious? I don't know about that. But maybe I should give that prayer thing a try. So if we want to get out of here, we want to get back to Elle and Mikhail, you and me. We're gonna need a miracle. Hopper makes you want to run through a Freaking wall, doesn't he? I know. Just two dads. Valomagulas. Yeah, I know. What if he says that just for an Easter egg? <laughs> what if he goes, bravos, bravos? <laughs> Why? Is he from bravos? Is he not? Yeah. Me is Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And he acts like If it's Sydney, but it's American. Is it the peanut butter or is it Joyce? <laughs> what if they walk out right when the monster fight's happening? Jeez, that would be the worst time. And she sees Hopper get, no. get side swipe like It can't Bob. happen again. It can't happen again. Any more headaches? Nausea this morning? How about your memory? Can you remember what happened now? I cannot stand seeing her in here. Mm -mm, you I need know. to get her out. When they cut off her hair, that was enough for me. Today's lesson is going to be about rules. Levin, please step forward. Last night, your sister, Eleven, suffered a concussion. Oh, she claims to not have a memory of what happened. Someone did this. Who's going to tell me what happened? They're so cute. She must have fallen. Fallen? She's clumsy. <laughs> Stupid. Sus. Eleven, you may step back. So that's why Elle has so much trauma with getting bullied. Mm. I don't think I quite put that together last episode. Collar him. You think because you demonstrate some talent that you're somehow immune to the rules. Is that it? No, Papa. Then why did you attack Eleven? Did she tell you that? Are you asking the questions or am I? If she told you that, then, then she's lying. Mm -hmm. Please, you have to believe me. Dang, what's going on with Papa? That's a psychic spanking, I guess. It was an accident. <laughs> okay, I take back my comment about Papa. You don't get none of the benefit of the doubt from me no more. I don't know. I just don't feel bad for him because he just jumped L. Well, yeah, but if he'll do that to him, he'll do it to L. 
You know what I mean? I just want to say thanks. I mean, plus that's just wrong. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't do that. Yeah. I mean, that was a real Aussie move you pulled back there. Aussie? He took a bite out of that bat. <laughs> Crazy. Aussie man. Osborne? Black Sabbath? Cheryl. <laughs> Sharon. Know, Sharon. <laughs> Sharon. I don't know that much about culture, guys. Sorry. That's all I know about it. <laughs> Henderson told me you were a badass. Kid worships you, dude. Like, it's kind of annoying, to be honest. <laughs> oh. Guess I got a little jealous, Steve. Oh, why do I love that? <laughs> I guess I can accept the fact that Steve Harrington is actually a good dude. Rich parents, popular, chicks love him. Not a douche? No way, man. That, like, flies in the face of all the laws of the universe. And my own personal Munson doctrine. <laughs> Still super jealous as hell by this Chris. <laughs> Which is why I would <laughs> never have jumped in that lake to save your ass. <laughs> He did it for Dustin Loki. <laughs> Outside of D&D, I am no hero. The only reason I came in here was because those ladies came in straight after you. Wheeler, right there. She didn't waste a second. She just dove right in. Nancy's a G like that, though. If I were you, I would get her back. Here we go again. I can't tell what that is, baby. Oh, that's her house. Oh, damn. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Robin, we've been collared by the law. I repeat, we've been collared <laughs> by the law. Do you copy? <laughs> you don't think they went through? Through Watergate? Without a plan? Without weapons? They wouldn't be that stupid. <laughs> they must just oh. be laying low because the law got us. What is this? Gun smoke? <laughs> Look at her juice. <laughs> Please, just go away. Here's the deal. Either you tell me what's happening, or I tell Dustin what I found under your bed. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin wants to know now. He looked. What did she find under your bed? Nothing. Is it gross? Scale one to ten. A hundred. A hundred? The serial killer is a dark wizard from the Upside Down. And we've Thing been he's looking spilled. for him. But he's in the Upside Down, which we can't reach. If you tell anyone about this, that's including Mom and Dad and <laughs> Tina, I smother you in your sleep. Why would they open up a gate at Lover's Lake? The commies? The commies didn't do this. Then who did? Nobody. So it just opened up for fun. Erica, you have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. Only two gates have opened so far as we know. One by L, one by the commies. But it's not the commies or L this time, so... Wait, 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 wait. There's one thing we've never understood. Which is why Vecna's killing people. True. What's his motive? How does the Mind Flayer figure into all this? This is the answer! Yeah. Coke, Sprite, Coke works. Dr. Pepper. Dang. Y'all got options. How did Elle open the mother gate? She contacted the Demogorgon with psychic contact. Just like Vecna when he casts his spells. Exactly. So what if with each kill, he's not simply killing them. He's making a powerful psychic connection with his victims. He's opening more gates. Good job, Dustin. He is. Why would he be opening gates to take over the world? Who do we know that wants to take over the world? The Mind Flayer. So if the Demogorgon was just his foot soldier, Vecna's his five-star general. Dang. So that's not even the Mind Flayer? That's like mm -mm. the junior? The assistant? You know, I was going to say, I kind of like the idea of the Mind Flayer a little more than Vecna. Mm -hmm. Because it seems to be more of like an overarching bad guy. But now it makes sense. So I guess the Mind Flayer on some level is still chilling. Right. I mean, obviously, everything's still connected like the Hive Mind. I hope there's just one Vecna note, though, not multiple, you know? There's more than one general. No, we just need one. Might be time to get a maid, Wheeler. <laughs> Here's Dustin. <laughs> These heels are a bit pointy, but I was hoping for something along the lines of a deadly projectile. <laughs> <laughs> there's a six-year-old in the house. I know where I keep my guns. And also, I threw these away years ago. Jesus, how many of these did you make? Oh, that's season one. This is old wallpaper. So they're in the past. And this, like, year, this went to a yard sale. What if they like find Will in there? No, I don't think they'd find Will in there, but so the upside down's late. Yeah. Yeah. 
to Steve and I. <laughs> I think the reason that my guns aren't here is because they don't exist yet. The last entry is November 6, 1983. The day Will went missing. The day the gate opened. We're in the past. So time must not be moving there. Like, it must be stuck. On that day? Yeah, maybe. Steve, what are you doing? Hello! He's here. Anderson. <laughs> He's in the walls or something. Just listen. Dustin! Dustin! He sounds like Joyce. What do Eleven and Vecna have in common? Dustin! Dustin! <laughs> Why do you do that? <laughs> All right, either this kid can't. Because he wasn't sure what's going on. <laughs> Will, he found a way to speak to Joyce through the lights. Turn him on, maybe. It's not working. Guys. Oh, Vecna's near. To open a tear in time and space. What the heck? Let me smack one. Oh, they're about to make it bright in there. Yeah, maybe it will explode the light and they'll be like, ah! Tickles. Does anyone know Morse code? No. no. Wait, does SOS count? Is that good? So our working work. theory <laughs> is that Vecna makes remote contact from look his Look at Erica, eyes. look at Erica. You don't know why. Are you even listening to me? Yeah, I'm listening. You said he followed Vecna through lights, right? Yeah, why? Because I think he's here. Damn, this feels like season one. I know. <laughs> it's working. I love him. Dude, genius, he's so dude. freaking smart. <laughs> Remember when I said they wouldn't be stupid enough to go through Watergate? <laughs> I overestimated them. Oh, man, they didn't have a choice. <laughs> Got here, huh? <laughs> How about this? Uh, <laughs> How about that? Huh? <laughs> Allow me to introduce you to my first. Yeah. What? Can you please stop playing with that thing? I am not playing, I am practicing. Remember, you are frightened, scared. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yuri is my love. <laughs> 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 Where is he? What have you done with Hopper? You filed Tommy Pig? Я же сказал. Да ты что сказал? Тот другой американец. Что вы с ним сделали? No, I представляю его в висящем на тебе на холоде и птицы ему глаз закрою. Ну что, я прав? Я как-то слышал истории про Юрия Измайлова. Ты не тот Юрий, о котором я слыхал. У него одного винтика не хватает. У тебя большая нехватка. Oh, oh, he's giving it back. Okay. Y'all got some weird senses of humor. <laughs> Like a very cold, dry sense of humor. I wonder yeah. why. Just like start cracking up really hard. She said, Where's Hopper, you vile commie pig? Is this like Gladiator? Kinda. Russian Это понятно? Желал вам удачи, но it won't help. Damn. Let us hope your prayers have been heard, American. You got this. This machine makes my soul hurt. Because mm -hmm. you have no control over it. I hope all y'all get the collar looking at her like that. They're messing with her. Are you open for something a little more challenging? I'm assuming that's chess, obviously, but those chess pieces are crazy. I know, what's on them? Someone will be like, that's the 1930s. Try not to show any emotion as I also know that. special game. edition set. Just keep playing the game if you understand. Two is still in the infirmary recovering. He's being watched now, but once he is released, 
he and the others are going to attempt to kill you. Right here. And Papa will allow it to happen. In fact, he wants it to happen. He's been planning it for some time now. Stay calm. Focus on the game. So that's why she probably did it, because of him. Yeah, he, like, convinced her There's in this moment. why two and the others were able to escape their room last night. They don't even realize it, but he is moving them like pieces on this board here. Why? You frighten him. He knows you're more powerful than the others. And he also knows he can't control you. That's all he wants. Control. Helping me made Papa hurt you. And it is why you must escape. Today, if you want to make it out of here alive, you must do exactly as I say. Do you understand? Why do you still help? Because I believe in you. I don't know what to believe. His character weirds me out, but I kind of like him. You know, obviously. What if he's like setting her up to do all that? He could you know? be moving her like yeah. a chess piece. That's what I'm saying, dude. I saw her use a pawn to kill like a big thing, though. So that could have meant something. Nice. Was that a bag of Skittles? Okay, even. <laughs> she said for your understanding. <laughs> Why y'all got all intricate? <laughs> that was like a nice design. Okay, you guys seeing this? So I guess anytime white is supposed to be like recreated in the upside down, it's just such a magical substance there. Because something it's like, like that, yeah. that place is made of darkness or something. <laughs> oh, nice. H. Hi. 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 <laughs> He's that texting works. Nancy. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> it only took four seasons. <laughs> Look, he's jealous. Steve's jealous. Stupid. Stupid. I was going to say stuck. Okay, stuck. Stuck. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Uh, you can't get back through Watergate. How's Watergate? Because it's in water and it's a gate. Oh, that's cute. Oh. The six? G? G. G. Yeah. U. Mm. Guarded. Mm. Guarded. Guarded. Okay, uh, water gates. Guarded. Perfect. There's a gate at every murder site. Go to the trailer. Okay. Seriously, how many <laughs> times do I have to be right on the money before you guys just trust me? Jesus Christ, this kid's got to get his econ checked. His tone, right? <laughs> Dads. <laughs> I know your house here is like weirdly creepily frozen in time, but haven't you always had bikes? So we need to stock this house in case we ever get stuck in the upside down in the future. <laughs> yep. We need flashlights, bikes, generators. She stuck to her guns. Honestly, shouldn't have gone with her first. She's like kind of mean. <laughs> we'll find your daughter, Mrs. Wheeler. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, little pigs. Dude. Oh, little pigs. <laughs> Run! Oh, Erica's on foot. No. Oh, no. <laughs> my your misdemeanor. Why she take Billy's hairstyle though? I was just about to say she looks <laughs> a little bit like Billy, don't she? Mm-hmm. The upside down. Oh. That was so tough. And they're riding bikes. Dang, it probably is like the same bike. It's so wild. They're controlling them. <laughs> Look at that eight ball, dude. Crazy. How are you feeling today? Okay. Are you up for some more lessons? Good. I was hoping it would say no, but I know it said yeah, because I remember this memory. I think he made it say yes with his mind. Oh, really? I think so. Because every I mean, time he shakes it, it says yes. Sure, yeah. I feel dizzy. Dizzy. The light is hurting my head.
Everything all right? Not sure. She says she's still dizzy. Lights are hurting her. Hurting who? This is like the boiler room in the Nightmare on Elm Street series. Remember, they kept the glove and something like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember? This will lead you out beyond the lap fence to the woods. He's right, because she but crawled through it. You are too big. I'm not going with you, Eleven. I meant what I said when I called this place a prison, and everyone here is a prisoner, not just you. Can you feel it? Oh, it's a tracker or something. It weakens me, attracts me. Even if there were another way out, he will find me. And if he finds me, he will find you. What if I make it go away? You help me, I help you. I don't know, because what if that person's evil? I don't know. What if that tracker's in there to keep him from not being evil? <laughs> They actually are going to give him weapons. Yeah, they gave him the type of weapons you'd find at medieval times. Nice. Hopper's like Wakanda forever, baby. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, wait, wait, wait. What did that American do? Make a good throw, brother. I'm assuming he has a lighter in his pocket and he's about to throw it to Hopper. Never mind. <laughs> it wasn't a lighter. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Tell me that's not out of fluid. Come on. Yeah, we went to the moon first. Remember that. If you want to live in whatever sick, twisted game this is, you're going to stop it and you're going to free our friend. Then I'm afraid you're going to have to kill me because your friend is already dead. Come on! Use one of those spears as like a flint, right? Or something? <laughs> yeah, you go ahead and try that. Oh, shit. Dude, the Russian Gorgon can fight. Why don't you just put him in there? Let's flame on. Ah! Run, run, run! No, no! no. Oh. Oh. Yeah, get back. Oh, dude. Fortnite. Demogorgon feeding wetly. Mm. Not the wet feeding. Like when the dolls get that wet food. <laughs> <laughs> Я не только себя обреку на смерть, но и всех своих товарищей. Let's go, Murray. Ah! I can't watch this anymore. I don't like them getting beat up like that. Nothing's like a dang clicker, isn't it? Yeah. Actually scarier. Yeah, way scarier, but it's like a one-shot kill type of thing. What are you doing? I have no idea. There's a lot of buttons here and I can't see. Come here, no. Give me mine! <laughs> He's still just yelling. <laughs> he ain't stop. Mm -mm. Oh my god, it's almost out. He better go too. I hope he makes it too. The Demogorgon should have just blew on it. Good damn birthday candle. Stick it in his face.
Yes. <laughs> it's just mad. <laughs> Good throw, Hopper. Like I said, Dart would never. Dart would never. But they're even more screwed now. Let's go. <gasps> Let's go. It's been too long. Oh. Can you like come up here though? Can you come over here? Can you move? Oh, you're scared he's gonna get got. Yeah. That was so sweet. To be honest, I love how much time we're spending in the Upside Down. I think this is so cool. Yeah, it is. It's gotta be a Guinness World Record. <laughs> Most miles traveled interdimensionally. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. This is where Chrissy died. Something in there. What the hell is that? Ah! Is it them? It's gonna be them. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be upside down, sticking their head in. Yeah, just like... <laughs> no way. Yes. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. 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 <laughs> you can't hurt me more than they already have. I don't know about this, though. He handled that pretty good, didn't he? Huh. Yeah, like what if that thing contains his ass? Right. What if he's like the bad telepathic guy and he had to... What if he's number one? You knew something so small could cause so much trouble. Thank you. No! Run! Freeze! <laughs> what do you think you're going? He's probably about to do something crazy now. What if he did all that stuff and she just is the blame for it? I don't know. You don't have to be afraid of them, Eleven. Not anymore. Not anymore. Oh. Come. She's like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait here. Don't move. I'm going to find us a way out. We're alike. You and I. Hmm. It makes sense. I don't know why I felt it from the beginning. That well, because he he's the oldest. Yeah. Right. And he's actually in the rainbow room. So based on what we know, like that she escapes by herself. Do we trust him? I don't trust him. I don't remember seeing him dead and crumpled up either. But you know me, I don't trust nobody. Those stains are, uh... <laughs> I don't know what those stains are. <laughs> Was he peeing on the bed? Uh, I, I didn't see stains, so I don't know. <laughs> Here goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Abracadabra. Equal and opposite forces, huh? <laughs> Guess I'm the guinea pig. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, my god. Whoa. <laughs> That's so crazy. Get Steve out. He's hurt. All right, I'll get some. Well, Nancy go. first, and then Steve. <laughs> no, ladies first, bro. He said his mouth. <laughs> You're still wanted, though, in this world. You might should stay there. <laughs> Excuse me. What happened to Nancy? Why? That's where Barb. That's where Barb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh. No, she's Vecna cursed. No, because the Barb. And Steve's gonna go in after her. Is oh it... my god, because they made a big point about Nancy going in after. Is Steve. it because of Barb? She's tra traumatized from that. From that, yeah, from Barb. Oh no. Well, I mean, she's got a lot of reasons to be traumatized. They all do. 
Yeah, but like it's taking yeah, you to exactly. that moment. Oh. Dang. Do you remember what you did, Nancy? When I kill someone, I never forget. Mm -hmm. But doesn't she have seven days? <laughs> yeah, you got seven days if you're on the right side of the upside right, down. I know you're tinkering with some interdimensional You walk right stuff. into his house. So it was number one. That poor little girl. She gets lied to and manipulated by everyone. Yeah, but maybe he's gonna be like, it's okay, now we can escape. And then she's gonna have to get him. Escape with him? Hell no. Yeah, like, we just have to get him. <laughs> so the dude's Vecna? Maybe? Or he's the mind player? Because L has those eyes and he might do that to her. Let's not jump the gun, let's see. I asked you to wait. Why do you cry for them, Eleven? After everything they did to you, you think you need them, but you don't. Oh, but I know you're just scared. I was scared once too. She's in the house. Right back where we were with Max. How was old blind dumb Victor? I've been meaning to check back in, but I've been busy. Fred. is amazing it looks like a fairy tale like you i didn't fit in with the other children something the, was wrong with me all the, it's the, son. the doctors uh -huh. said i was victor's son broken they said my parents thought a change of scenery a fresh start in hawkins might just cure me mm. as if the world would be any different here to my surprise, our new home provided a discovery. We found a nest of black widows living inside a van. How a pimp slap that spider? Found them endlessly fascinating. This music is going crazy. Like me, they are solitary creatures. They immobilize and feed on the weak, bringing balance and order to an unstable ecosystem. But the human world was disrupting this harmony. Humans are a unique type of pest. Where others saw order, I saw a straitjacket. A cruel, oppressive world dictated by made up rules. Seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks. Each life, a faded, lesser copy of the one before. Wake up, eat, work, sleep, reproduce, and die. Everyone is just waiting for it all to be over. That's what Vecna says. I could not close off my mind and join in the madness. I could not pretend. And I realized I didn't have to. He's going back in time? I could make my own rules. A predator, but for good. saw my parents as they truly were. This guy is so creepy. They presented themselves as good, normal people, but like everything else in this world, it was all a lie. I showed them who they really were. I held up a mirror. My naive father believed it was a demon cursing them for their sins. But my mother somehow knew. 
She called a doctor, an expert. She wanted him to lock me away, to fix me. And so she left me with no choice. Oh, this is the moment he Victor escaped because that. That's so crazy, bro. They were becoming a part of me. I did not yet know my limits. And it nearly killed me. He was arrested. Blamed for the death of my sister and mother just as I had planned. Oh, man. I woke up from my coma only to find myself placed in the care of a doctor. Dr. Martin Brenner. Papa. When Papa finally realized he could not control me, he tried to recreate me. He began a program. Others were born. So everyone came from him in a sense. Wow. And I am so glad you were the letter. So he sees them as like unnatural. They're not gone. Eleven. They're still with me. Near. So he's the mind flayer, essentially. I don't know. It's really confusing. You are a prisoner here, just like me. You are better than they are. Superior. That is why you frighten him. If you come with me for the first time in your life, you will be free. Mm -mm. He has really inverted visions of all this. We could reshape the world, remake it however we see fit. Join me. No. You got to get his ass, Eleven. Mm -hmm. Like in the upside down, they're trying to make the world as they see fit. So I don't know. Like with no people? You yeah, mean? Yeah, just. They're just chained up. Yeah, she found something to be really angry about, didn't she? This can't be good for the, like the dimension. He had found his strength in a memory from his past. Do you maybe have a memory like that? <gasps> Can't be the end of this episode. No, no, no. Both nose, there's a, both nostrils are bleeding. I mean, it's happening. That's so tough. And so that's why he's in the upside down now. Oh, I'll put him there. There he is. That was crazy. That was a little confusing, guys. I just really tried to hang in there because I didn't want to get anything wrong. But when they sent him through, it all clicked, baby. That was insane. Mm. Ah. All right, man. So when I think of like the ultimate bad guys in my life, dude, Vecna is one of them. That was crazy as hell. So, so that L, was Vecna though, right? That was Vecna's origin It was story? so much to take in at first. Yeah, it was Vecna's origin yeah, okay. story. It was so much to take in at first. So basically what happens, man, Victor Krill goes down. Uh, he gets framed for the murder because it's really his son, but obviously his son is significantly more powerful than him. So he had, essentially has the advantage in that situation. Elle was trapped up with this dude in the rainbow room. Yeah. Okay. She was so traumatized by the events that she basically blocked it all out and blocked out her trauma. And she framed her own self like everyone and well, even us. We thought Elle did all that. When the memories came back, she she just couldn't. She had done such a good job blacking it out that she didn't have a yeah. full picture. 
it turns out, man, she was ultimately manipulated by Vecna. So just another thing that ties into the theme early in this show, like season one with Mike, I am the monster, stuff like that, you know, because in a sense, like her getting tricked is what allowed all this to happen. Right. This poor baby can't do nothing right. What is it? It's not her fault. I know. But you know what I'm saying? It, uh, yeah, absolutely. She yells and some, something from another dimension comes out. You know what I'm saying? She's just doing her best. Vecna sits there, gives her this whole spill while playing chess about uh, how basically she's a pawn on a chessboard. Uh, completely manipulates her, gets her to take out the suppressant that was, they said it was a tracker, but it was obviously yeah. something to suppress his mm -hmm. abilities. She gets tricked. He ends up killing everyone. She ends up getting so enraged by it that it was such a traumatic event for her to get that angry. It took mm -hmm. a lot out of her. So he ended up sending her to the upside, or she sent him to the upside down. I'm just explaining the plot, but I'm just trying to walk, talk my way through it. And then he went there and transformed into Vecna. The Upside Down said, thank you very much. We don't waste anything. We're going to turn you into a general, and we're going to use you. Right, and it, and the Upside Down had nothing there, so Vecna kind of built. In a sense, stuff. right. Right, because it was like, but now we need, bare. But we need more on the mind player now. Right, because when he said all of the peoples are up here, then maybe the mind player, who's even greater That's than him. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Maybe he's all like. Their, yeah, has like. The, so the generals have theirs, and then they have the generals, so then they essentially have everybody's? Because the place that he went to didn't look like the upside down that we see today. It was just a No, a it, looked, it was like, so, and there was so much, like, lightning. Maybe Vic, maybe he, maybe he's all of it. Maybe he's uh, Vecna. Maybe he's the mind player. Maybe he went there, and just over time, he's just learned how to, because he's basically, I mean, he has nothing but time. He's just sitting in an endless void. So yeah. maybe he's learned how to essentially divvy up his consciousness or something so maybe he maybe ultimately he's the mind flayer but then a piece of him is vecna i don't know we're getting ahead of ourselves but <laughs> yeah but that was crazy i i did have the feeling he was number one but i did not think that number one was vecna well so early on i thought okay well he's a guard and then immediately i realized he's not a guard pretty quick and then so the idea that he was number one definitely started to seep in for sure did i think that he was about to be vecna hell no i didn't no. think he's about to be vecna um and crazy twist. Until the last part of this, I wasn't even sure he was Vecna because I was so confused, but <laughs> it all clicked, baby. Uh, yeah. Crazy episode. We got to hang out with Eddie. We got to hang out with Steve the Hare Harrington, Nancy, Robin. Uh, I really, really like all of them hanging out together because they are all older. I thought the most mm -hmm. wholesome moment, one of the most wholesome moments of the series so far is basically Eddie being very vulnerable with Steve. And yeah, that, basically about admitting, Dustin, it was sweet. Well, he basically admitted, like, dude, the reason I hate you so much is because... You're just you just sort of have all the things that I don't have. And I thought that was like, very right. And he can't even graduate high school. And you could tell in Steve's mind, dude, Steve doesn't think he's all that. Steve knows yeah. what Steve is, right? And it, it, I thought that was really wholesome, man. I love that part so much. I thought that getting Eric involved is always just is the reason I like to see Eric get involved is because like we have a younger son, you know, we have a he's not a exactly a toddler anymore. He's getting bigger, but he's starting to really hang out with the kids and stuff. And it's just great to see him being like accepted. And yeah, stuff. it's cute. <laughs> right. And so Erica sort of reminds me of like my youngest son in a sense. So I really like to see them all hanging out, especially because they had such a rocky relationship. But yeah. when her and Lucas are actually nice to each other and hang out, it just makes me feel really wholesome. Her and Lucas's banter is so funny. Well, ultimately <laughs> as a parent, like one of your biggest, hopes in life is that your kids get along yeah they'll right? hang out because when your kids argue all the time it makes you feel like a failure as a parent right know? but so it's cute when they hang out absolutely um i like eddie even more in this episode i think I, anytime i see steve and nancy together i just think like i don't know how i feel about it you know what i mean you know but to be honest the only reason i don't know how i feel about it is because jonathan but i guess yeah. jonathan's hanging out Getting doobied up right now. Yeah, he's uh, passing the duchy. Jonathan don't even know how he feels. He's out there burying his feelings. <laughs> yeah. Burying them in a duchy. Right. Anyways. But Nancy is a little mistaken on that behalf <laughs> because she thinks Jonathan's not there for her. But Jonathan's actually like kind of held up himself. He has a lot going on because they're trying to figure out, you know. I'll be honest with you. You know, as much as they've been through together, Jonathan and Nancy, they were sort of at a point in their relationship. You don't split up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they were just too intertwined to split up. So that's kind of on Jonathan. Well, was it? You know. I mean, he wanted to move with his mom and Will. Like their the brother went missing for a year. I feel like the family needs to stay together. Well, how old is Jonathan though? I mean, I'm not I'm trying to be like fair. How old is he? Is he out of high school? Mm mm. How old is he? They're seniors or something. Oh, a senior? Yeah, they're Well, they're, I moved out of my house when I was in like eleventh grade. So it like when I say things like that, like, hell no, man, you gotta go move out. Like I, I don't say that for real. Like, man, I I really did it. So uh, I moved out of my house 
the beginning of 11th grade and looking you know, it's not a good thing to do that, but looking back, I don't know how outside I got out the house. <laughs> I'm glad I did and got me out the house. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, it's just hard, you know, because Jonathan and Nancy have been such an item. Yeah. And early on in the season, it just felt like Steve and Nancy wasn't right. So yeah, because their relationship was like, you know, we anyone could say it just wasn't good. Well, Steve matured a lot. Yeah, Steve and, and grew as up. did Nancy. Steve grew up. As did Nancy. Nancy, 100%. Nancy too. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But I mean, other. I just wanted to say we went a whole hour and a half or whatever without seeing Will and Mike. Like, Someone made at a call. I'm sorry to interrupt you, sweetie. But someone made a comment on our YouTube channel forever ago, and it's always bothered me because I've. I, to be honest, man, subconsciously, it's the only comment someone's ever made that I actually go into these videos sort of looking for. But someone said. It's funny how in the beginning everyone's rooting for Nancy and Steve, but by the end you realize like Steve's so much better than Nancy or something like that. And I don't, I don't really, I don't see that. I don't see that either, but I don't, I still don't want them together. I don't, I don't. Know Maybe that person was just upset because Nancy was with Jonathan. But I, I love Nancy's character. I think Nancy's character is only yeah, she's more great. badass as it's gone on. Like, Nancy's become. She's like, she's the one. Like, if if you're looking for someone to strike first, it's Nancy. Yeah, her character is great. Yeah, she's I, not playing. They've done a really good job at making Nancy's character have a really good arc. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they could have took her character in a lot of ways. They could have made her... They could have like chose to make her like bitter and angry and all that type of stuff, but they really haven't at all. Like, I love where they've taken Nancy's character. Yeah. And they made her mom out to be kind of wild, not her. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Yeah. Um, Dude, I miss Jonathan. I miss Will. I miss... Moving a whole episode not seeing them. Uh, we didn't see enough right. Joyce in this. Well, Joyce and Hopper got the good reunion. That was a great reunion, but yeah. she spent half the episode with her mouth tied up. Yeah. Yuri was... Yuri's the go, dude. He's definitely... It's so hard to... To be honest with you guys, I don't want to offend anyone, but I feel like Yuri's a top three character to me. But obviously, Yuri or Murray? What did I say? You're saying Yuri, which is the Russian guy. Uh, dude, I didn't say Murray. I'm so sorry. Obviously, yeah, I, I was like Murray. Murray's. I've never said Yuri. I... Sorry, guys. You know me. It I'm does just... rhyme. Right, but anyways, yeah, Murray's definitely a top three character to me. Yeah, I think it's just because well, he's hilarious. I mean, he's he's really the funniest character to me in the show. Well, him, Dustin. But I think Hopper's funny too. I think yeah. Hopper's really underrated. They're funny. all but Joyce funny to funny. their own in their own way. Like it's even such a Ted. Good show. I know I always give hate to Ted Wheeler, but he's funny too because he's predictable. <laughs> it's crazy because I sat there and called him Yuri. Obviously, I know Murray's name, but I haven't remembered Yuri's name one time in the series, and now all of a sudden I'm calling Mary Yuri. Um, why the hell are they rhyming? Anyways, crazy episode. I think the guy who plays what's his name? I, I really don't know his name. The Russian guy who got caught up with Hopper. Um, well, Enzo slash Antov. Right, uh, it's Anatov, or and, yeah, and, and I, I've never known how to say that name. There's I like just a, call him Enzo in my head because he was Enzo at first, so he's just Enzo to me. Right, uh, I love his character, man. He's just a really good addition to this for sure. I thought he brought. I a hope lot he makes of, it out. Jeez. Yeah, he definitely brought some Russian culture for sure. <laughs> uh, I hope he makes it out too because he's got kids and stuff, and it'd yeah. be really nice. And I'm with you. I thought when he was sitting there lurking behind in the shadows, I, I was thinking Bob Newby. <laughs> right. That's what I was thinking. Because it was unexpected. Yeah. Jeez. This episode was really good. There was something in this episode that slightly confused me. Okay. So remember when Nancy fell in Steve's lap? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. And then all of a sudden, Robin falls into Eddie's lap, right? Mm -hmm. But maybe like, so I was thinking, why did Robin fall into Eddie's lap? Because Robin likes girls, right? But then I got to thinking, well, maybe the reason Robin fell into Eddie's lap was to show that you can just platonically do that also. So maybe you shouldn't overlook the Steve and Nancy thing. Like, <laughs> or don't get your or hopes what up. if it's she likes Eddie and it doesn't just have to be girls. What if she's like, bye. <laughs> what if she just doesn't like Steve? Because then Steve, Steve like, better be like, what the hell? Well, what if she doesn't like Steve? Because you remember, she kind of said he was a douchebag. So maybe they're just fr literally maybe they're friends. Literally. I mean, your theory is not something that I should discredit, but I'm just saying, I thought that the reason that they done that was to just go to show that like she could be falling in Steve's lap because they could potentially get back together or it could mean nothing right. or it could just be because they were scared, just like right. Robin. So in my mind, I, you know, uh, yeah, I could have went either way. Right. So the only reason I bring it up is because I feel like for some reason, I mean, if Robin doesn't like dudes and it goes out the window for sure, but I feel like if for, hypothetically she did, wouldn't that be like a good couple? Yeah. I like, you know what I mean? Because they're both <laughs> yeah. just so like. You know? Yeah, and but you can tell Eddie's kind of into her because every time she talks, he like lights up and looks at her. Does he really? Yeah, I've noticed that. I, I just well, Robin said she was bi, so I just or she said she was uh, a lesbian, so I just she I just didn't say it straight up. She just said she liked Tammy Thompson. 
Well, I guess when she said it, though, I just respected it. And she, I was like, oh, she likes girls. So I just completely have taken. She said she liked Tammy Thompson and didn't like Steve because Tammy Thompson liked Steve. Damn, now I need to rethink the whole thing. Anyways, uh, what else happened in this episode that was just nuts? I thought the portrayal of them going from the upside down back to reality was yeah, absolutely yeah. sick. Yeah, because they so were like fun. all like, it was like kind of going together. Mm -hmm. Like everything was like, I don't know. You know how when we saw the flea and the acrobat and there was that little line, like that was coming to life right there. Right. And then right when Nancy was about to make it out, uh, Beck basically came calling. So I kind of know what part is confusing me. What? The... Okay, so let's they, figure it out, little mama. They said that it stopped time when Will went missing, right? Right. What does that have to do with Vecna? Like, what? Why was Vecna pulling the clock back? Mm, well, maybe Will went missing because that was just the start of like putting things in action. If you're because well, because L screamed to open the gate, the Demi Gorgon, I guess, came out to get Will. Essentially, maybe Will was like the first hunt. But no, his parents were. I don't know. You know, that, to be honest, you're right. I mean, you really are right. Like, what does, what, how does the timeline line up and why are those things? What yeah, I'm kind of thinking yeah. is maybe after that happened, Brenner's still alive, right? Elle didn't escape that day. She knew about the escape, right? Because she actually escaped four years later. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Brenner came back to life. He only had L. I don't know what happened in number eight. I, I'm just going to ignore that part for now. But, L was doing all these science experiments, you know, crushing the can, like she saw the cat. They're trying to get her to spy on Russians and all that stuff. Maybe when she screamed or whatever, I don't know where I'm going with this. When she screamed that day was the day she escaped. Remember? Where are you going Her with this? screaming was because she was trying to find a demigorgon because she was still working with Brenner. So that day when she had that traumatic experience, she still stayed in the lab right. for four more years. Mm hmm then she screamed and then vecna stopped the time in the upside down or something like that the time stopped or something you know to be honest man we could grasp at these when straws, she screamed to open that portal i feel like that's when time stopped in so you think down. time was moving in the upside down before i don't know that's what i don't well, know. i mean obviously time had to move if vecna created it sorry guys we're just trying to figure this out here yeah so i'm just trying if to vecna went there and there was nothing there and then he created it well if he created well obviously time exists there on in some level i mean right. on some level it exists there maybe the upside down just doesn't like update itself until like maybe it's just always two years behind reality so maybe it is constantly updating itself but it's just two years behind uh, well, my, i don't know my theory really is when l screamed it opened it and then it stopped and they're just trying to recruit all they need in there like once i opened it it stopped time or something i don't know i don't know man all i know is i you know i did a pretty good job following the storyline about you know vecna so i thought i was doing pretty good there but you're right man the more we watch this the more the more questions we have for sure yeah because there's got to be something to do with ex that time and the other thing is the light like you know when vecna was falling down he was getting struck well vecna or whatever his name is vecna or number one AKA he was getting struck by all that lightning. lightning yeah. And that was just weird to me because like you, you see lightning in the, but it's red essentially, but you know how lights weird there. I'm just wondering what that's about. Hey, we're just going to keep on wondering until next <laughs> episode, baby. Cause I don't know. I didn't know I, if I really you had don't. anything that you thought would be di different. Or something. I mean, if I offer anything, I'm just going to be trying to like take a lot of like physics, like physics stuff I know, and then just try to make a bunch of wild theories. But to be honest, I don't know what's going on with that. Like, I don't know why they're two years behind. I don't know why, you know, I don't know why it correlates with Will's disappearance. You know, I, I don't know. Right. I just don't know. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry we don't have all the answers this time. Usually, I think we're, we're not on top supposed to. I think that's like. I, I think that's kind of what it is. I think we're at where we're supposed to be. Maybe. Hopefully, we don't need to know. Hopefully, we didn't miss something to where we're just wrong. Well, you guys said this was the best season of genuinely like a top five show of all time. This episode right here completely took me for a loop. I was not expecting the whole Vecna thing. I mean, I was expecting it like as it was happening. You know, um, definitely didn't want to jump the gun on it, but I thought it was such a good twist. It really. It, I was wondering where they were going to go with that character is what I'm trying to say because he was so creepy and ominous and that was just well, phenomenal. My, my thing with Vecna that I was thinking the whole time because, you know, they do relate it a lot to D&D. &D, and I was thinking Vecna was like actually a cursed person that like just happened to live in the Upside Down. So it was like kind of coinciding with that. But it seems like Vecna is not a cur an actual curse. 
like you know like essentially a curse that's just someone who feeds on people who had trauma because they're vulnerable well i guess what it is is like if i have psychic powers and i become like a serial killer mm -hmm. and then i can be like <laughs> and twist you up right that's I'm, whose mind you want to get the easy ones. right well from your perspective i'm hit i'm hitting you with that october's curse <laughs> you, <laughs> you feel pretty cursed when your ass crinkling yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right guys Shit, I don't know. Vecna be crinkling people up like some paper. That's all I really know. But anyways, we, we I feel like we need to watch the rest of the series, man, and all these questions will be answered. I think that with a series this good, they're not going to give all the answers away this early. I mean, there's still two episodes. so And there's a whole other season coming out, so I feel like they're going to leave us like in a little cliffy. And if the show knows what's damn good for it, it'll make another season after that. It's not. It's, it's the final. That's the final season? Yeah. There's just no way. What, Guys, I'm going to be sad. Us? Why can't it be, be like sad. eight seasons or something? All right, guys, this is 1.30 in the morning. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Like, absolutely. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video, hit the notification bell, all that stuff. I probably missed something. We'll see you guys on the next one.